Thanks for taking the time to stop by and check out our eight and a half foot wide all aluminum ultra premium car hauler. Now this bad boy is shown here in a 28 foot length. It's available in different sizes, colors, configurations, whatever it is that you want, you name it, it's available. Now starting at the front, you'll see we've got a massive triple tube tongue. It's an all tube construction frame, 16 on center cross members, floor, roof, and walls. You've got your two and five sixteenths coupler, your seven way plug, for the lights and the connection to your vehicle, manual tongue jack, upgradable to an electric tongue jack, breakaway battery kit, stone guard of course in the front, and what you see here is what's called a 50 amp motor base plug. Now this is what powers the 110 volt electrical package inside the trailer. You just take the electrical cord that we give you, it's got a twist lock on it, you plug it right into the side of the trailer and that powers your lights and receptacles on the inside. Now you're going to see that there's just a ton of trim work done in this trailer. You've got your polished front verticals here, your polished cast corners, and a stainless steel front wrap that wraps up and over the edge. So everything we put into this trailer is just totally premium. From your flush mount RV style side door with your upgraded RV door latch that has a piano hinge, to the screwless exterior that you see here. It's available in different colors. What you're looking at is a .030 exterior thickness. It's also available in thicker uh, materials as well. So we can go to a point zero four zero five zero, so on and so forth. This trim work that you see, you've got a seven inch lower trim here, four inch upper trim. That's all riveted to the trailer. There's no screws used in the outside. Again, a premium option. LED lights that wrap all the way around the outside of the trailer and you've got a nice aluminum pullout step here. So we went with 5,200 pound torsion axles on this trailer. You can upgrade the axles as well. The reason we went with 5,200 pound axles is the trailer is extremely light. It's about 1,000 pounds or just over 1,000 pounds lighter than its steel frame counterpart, which is a huge deal. This trim on the side is what we call a perimeter skirting. It's one of my all-time favorite accessories on this model. It really makes the trailer stand out, and it's kind of the flagship look to this particular model. This is all structural here. It's actually welded in behind this, not just trim work. Uh, you can see we've got an eight inch spread axle here. It just spreads apart the axles and it allows us to trim out in between the tires. Gives it a really nice look as well. Uh, you might notice there's a, the two 500 watt quartz lights on the side of the trailer and those are part of the electrical package that comes standard. So on the driver's side of the trailer, we've got a nice vented generator door. It's got a keyed lock. All the keys are keyed the same. So you don't have to think about which key to use to open it up. You just open up, put your generator inside, Nice compartment there that we'll talk about in a minute. Now another unique characteristic to this trailer is what we call a reverse beaver tail. So the rear of the trailer actually slopes up, you can kind of tell here, while on the inside the floor slopes down which makes it easier for loading and unloading low profile vehicles. So that's what we call a reverse beaver tail, you can kind of see it here in the video. And there are some skid plates here underneath the rear corners that uh, protect the rear if you're going up and down an embankment so you don't drag this trim and mess up the back of your trailer. So in the rear of the trailer, you're gonna see that we've got our dual slimline LED lights. Come standard with this model. Polished aluminum rear hoop that wraps up and around the trailer. You'll also see we've got LED clearance lights up above the ramp door as well. Now, the ramp door is secured, not with a traditional bar lock, which is that big gaudy lock that pops down into place, but you've got these stainless steel paddle latches they're called. So it's a unique locking mechanism. It's very similar to an old style uh, refrigerator freezer handle. And to unlock this, you just simply lift this lever up. The locking mechanism is inside the door and you're just gonna pull this down. It's a dual spring assist ramp door. I'll show you how light this is. You, know, you can see kind of how light that is. Spring assist is here and you've got an extended flap that folds out as well. So we've got the ramp door covered in a round dot coin rubber flooring and also inside the trailer as well. There are different materials available here. For example, one upgrade would be an extruded aluminum floor. It eliminates any plywood underlay and you just have an extrusion uh, that runs throughout the trailer. You also see with the, that we've got a gapless continuous hinge. So there's just a rubber piece that covers up the hinge so you don't get dirt and debris down into that hinge system. And it's just another detail piece that's really nice on this model. You can see there's some 5,000 pound recessed D-rings. We've got four inside the trailer set up for a car. Different tie-down options here as well. If you want E-Track, Airline Track, D-rings, uh, whatever it might be, we can certainly do it. 
So if the exterior wasn't impressive enough, the inside is where it really gets good. So we've got a rubber floor we already talked about. You've got aluminum walls, aluminum ceiling. We could insulate the walls and ceiling. We can even go with a different color. So what you're looking at here is just a white, and we have different colors available. You can go with a silver mist aluminum wall and ceiling. I've got a customer that's doing red walls, red ceiling to really stand out at the racetrack. It's a great idea. It's going to look really nice. Uh, 96 inches from wall to wall, 82 inches in between the fender wells. Now I'm six foot two, just to kind of give you an idea on the presence or the size. This is a seven foot interior height. We've got six inches of added height on here, so it gives you a seven foot interior. You, you'll see that we've got recessed fluorescent lights. There are three of them throughout the trailer, a couple of recessed dome lights as well. So further inside the trailer, you've got our switch panel here. There's two. 110 volt switches, there's one for the exterior quartz lights, and there is also one 12 volt for the dome lights as well. You can see what our RV door latch looks like from the interior, 110 volt receptacle here, and of course our cabinet. So you've got a nice all aluminum base cabinet that comes into an L shape, and this is where our generator compartment is housed. You've got your overhead cabinets here, and we take the breaker box and we tuck it away so it's hidden inside of this overhead cabinet. It's just a nice little touch there. Clean deep tail piece. You've got a nice countertop space that's all made out of aluminum. Receptacle here and a non-part roof vent that is actually set up for an air conditioning unit. So it's already braced and wired. All you have to do is drop an AC right through that same hole. Last thing I'm going to mention here about the cabinets. We've got different configurations and different options available here. So you can go with a wardrobe closet, wheel well cabinets. We've even got drawer sets you can see on the accessories page on our website. Inside of this base cabinet, we've got a simple shelf, just divides up the cabinet, gives you some nice storage space.